वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ साइनो बैक्टीरिया टूडे वी आर स्टडीड अबाउट द सेल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ साइनो बैक्टीरिया वी स्टडीड अर्लियर दैट सेल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ साइनो बैक्टीरिया कंटेन म्यूसिलेज शीट सेल वॉल साइटोप्लाज्मिक मेम्ब्रेन क्रोमेटोप्लाज सेंट्रोप्लाज एट्सेट्रा so first we are going to start with mucilage sheath mucilage sheath is also known as slime layer or capsule it surrounds the cell wall of cyanobacteria by thin or thick covering uh thin covering is found in anacystis montana and thick covering is found in anabena in unicellular forms distinct sheath is covered in individual cells in filamentous form common gelatinous sheath is present this sheath is composed of a complex mixture which is formed of mucopolysaccharides and glucuronic acid it is made up of fibers that held together and form mucilage these fibers arise from cell wall and not attached firmly to it but their orientation vary in different species it helps in protecting cells from desiccation especially in those which do not produce resistant spores mucilage layer or mucilage sheath also helps in gliding movements now come to the next point which is cell wall cell wall is thin firm and similar to gram negative bacteria it is divided into four layers designated as l1 l2 l3 l4 innermost layer is l1 which is next to plasma membrane and outermost layer is l4 cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan with carbohydrates amino acid and fatty acids now next structure is cytoplasmic membrane which is which form limiting membrane of cytoplasm and uh, it is made up of protein lipid protein layers it has many infoldings which penetrate the cytoplasm which give rise to new pigment containing thylakoids next structure is chromatoplasm which is peripheral pigmented portion of protoplast and has a reticulate alveolar or homogeneous structure chromatoplasm is characterized by presence of flattened vesicular structure known as thylakoids or we can say photosynthetic lamellae a lamellae is composed of two membranes which are joined at the ends and encloses an intrathylakoid space of 70 to 80 armstrong width this lamellae form closed flattened sacs with contain chlorophyll a carotenoids and three phycobilin proteins c phycocyanin allo phycocyanin and c phycoerythrin thylakoids arrange in parallel rows which is close to the periphery of cell or they are distributed irregularly throughout the cell pigments are not contained in true membrane limited plastids lamellae is also the sites of cellular respiration so called as phyco uh, photosynthetic respiratory membrane now cell organelles like uh, golgi apparatus mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum and other membrane bound organelles are absent in cyanobacteria chromatoplasma are also contain protein granules gas and oil vesicles cyanophysin granules are also known as structural granules they are irregular or polyhedral in shape 
and store protein in the form of polypeptides polyhedral bodies are angular in shape and associated with dna in center of cell and they are considered as carboxysomes which store carbon dioxide fixing enzyme ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate carboxylase polyphosphate body is also known as volutin granules they are spherical located near center of cell and they store phosphate and are found abundantly in mature cells which is grown in medium with high phosphate contents gas vesicles are small tubular structures composed of protein ribs or spirals exclusively these contains gas which having rigid wall but are collapsed when pressure is applied and it shield light uh, it shield tight and uh, also provide buoyancy to the cyanobacteria next uh, structure is centroplasm central colorless region of cell is also known as centroplasm or nucleoplasm this having neck dna or and uh, not associated with histones in some cyanobacteria histone like proteins binds non specifically with dna nuclear material not surrounded by nuclear membrane and nucleolus is also absent in cyanobacteria nucleoplasm not differentiated and intrudes into peripheral chromatoplasm this region stains like nucleus but that is not true nucleus so that is called as incipient nucleus these are some basic structures found in cyanobacteria it having many more structures but we are not needed to study them all in detail so now in this video we completed cell structure of cyanobacteria in our next video we are talking about reproduction and nutrition and economic importance of cyanobacteria so till then happy learning and thank